feels a pretty good. Nani really likes setting up the fish tank. She's working on stacking rocks, getting the pump flow just right for the shrimp that we want to put in there. In addition to setting up the fish tank, we had a wonderful donation of a washing machine and dryer. You can see here that the dryer, it's a steam dryer, is exceptionally heavy. So it did take three of us to get it on to the truck and off the truck. You may be wondering what is a children's science museum going to do with a washing machine and a dryer. But we have a lot of art projects that the kids have been working on. And we keep finding that we have a lot of rags and cleanup that need attention. If you've been following our channel, you've been following the progress of the Boys and Girls Club. We've been working with them all summer on a project about recycling. They've collected trash, they've cleaned and sorted high five recyclables. They built planters out of old bottles. And here we are working on the frame for their final project. We're turning all of that plastic that's not recyclable that they collected into a art sculpture. And the frame for the art sculpture is a circular tube. The art sculpture that we're creating is a jellyfish. So it's a round frame with a top on it and chicken wire. And the kids are going to be able to hang bottles and plastic bits that they've collected from the scaffolding to create the dome of the jellyfish and then to create the tentacles around the edge. What we had to do was cut this pipe down. It's an electrical conduit. And then we had to bend it all the way around into a circle so that it meets. And then finally, we had to weld the whole thing together once it was just the right shape. Sometimes we overdid it with the bending and had to unbend it, which we cleverly figured out how to do using our concrete topped tables. It was pretty easy. It was just a lot of fiddling back and forth until we could get the whole thing and all the pieces to be the right shape of round. Nani's become really good at grinding now. She can both do cut-off work, like is happening here where she's trimming the excess from the circle, and she's also gotten pretty good at cleaning up the surface using the flapper wheel, which she had to do in order to prep the metal before I could weld it. Also, I can't help it, I love watching those sparks fly. Yes, I did say welding. And while we were fiddling with our safety glasses, we got the inevitable visitor who stops by to learn about what we're doing. After cleaning up the edges, we were back at it, ready to put some tacks in. And while I'm not especially good at it, I do like it. For this frame, I wanted to make sure that the pieces were joined well enough that it, nothing's going to fall from the ceiling once we hoist this up. Nothing's going to come apart on the edges. 
so it needed to be a little bit more than a spot weld. So after I laid some metal in there, Nani came back around, ground it down, and we did it again. We cycled back and forth a few times until I was comfortable that the welds were strong enough that they were going to hold. What we're using is electrical conduit, so it is galvanized steel. It's not the easiest to weld, and I don't have a argon set up. Argon is particularly expensive on this island, as you can imagine, it has to be imported. In fact, all metal is pretty expensive on this island because it has to be imported. So it's nice when we can find something cheap, like this electrical conduit, to work with. It's easy to bend, it's easy enough to weld, it's just the kind of thing that can help make this frame for the kids. In addition to working on the jellyfish and putting the plastics together, some kids made little projects. These boys particularly enjoyed weaving the wire together. It felt like making a fishing net. A lot of kids liked the painting. We let them go to town with glitter all over the place, which they don't always get to do. So they really enjoyed it. There was also a group that spent a lot of time sanding down the picnic benches like these two boys here who are showing us how much sawdust they've accumulated on their hands. They had a great time. We could barely get them to stop. Other kids just like playing with the toys. We have a few toys outside our gift shop. Feel free to stop by, bring the kids, see what we're up to. We do have the spinning table in the gift shop as well, so you can see what our exhibits are going to look like. Aloha, shock.